Morning, everybody. Happy Sunday morning to you. All those of you that are joining us by audio or video, we want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Bend here in Marfa, yeah. Texas. Amen. Amen. So we invite you to come, prepare yourselves to receive. God has a special word for you. Amen. Amen. And that word is, <laughs> they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Amen. Amen. We are to wait on Him. And a lot of times we're impatient. We're yeah. going to be talking about that because the world is so quick and so fast. We have fast services now. We have instant services oh, right boy. now. And that's the way we expect our God to be. We ignore him most of the time, for lack of a better word, and we put him off and put him on the shelf, or we treat him like a spare tire. We use him in case of emergencies, and that's when we want to use him. But when we pray, when we talk to him, it's a one-way thing, and we say, well, we need this, we need this, and we need this, and hang up on him. <laughs> but we forget those that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Mm -hmm. It's up to His timing. Don't yeah. forget, it's His time and not our time. Yes. Amen. Yeah. And sometimes when you pray, you leave it in His hands. Mm -hmm. Let Him take care of it. Don't try to rush it. And every time it pops up in your head, in your, in your mind, just say, hey, it's in God's hands. It's no longer mine. I said it. I gave it to Him. And you leave it there. Amen. Don't take it back. Amen. Let it stay there. Amen. Mm -hmm. So praise God anyway. Welcome, we're going to have a great time. Amen. I always expect to have a great time. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. When I preach this message, when I bring the message, I bring it to myself also. Because uh -huh. I'm learning from this as well. Amen. Amen. So it's not just for you, it's for me as well. But you know what we've got to do is we've got to uh, receive it. Yes. Be blessed from it. Be changed yeah. from it. Uh, be uh, uh, convicted by it. If we need uh, some conviction, if we need some growing up to do, still, you know, we're still... As long as we're here on this earth, we're yeah. growing from glory to glory. We're learning, we're learning, and we're going to be learning so as long as we're here. Never see yourself as, well, I don't know enough. We'll never know enough, but we're learning. We're learners, yeah. not failures. Amen. And don't stop, don't quit. we got to press on with Him. Amen. Amen. So let it bless you, encourage you, and change you. Amen. I don't want to be the same person. God's not finished with us. He has great plans for us. And none of them include defeat. The Bible says you can do all things through all Christ things. which strengthens you. Amen. Amen. See these things. See, see these things. Confess these things to yourself. I am somebody. I am somebody. And I'm here. And I am on a mission for God. Amen. Say that. I'm on a mission for God. I'm on a mission for God. <laughs> Praise God. I'm getting way excited. But that's okay. Let's confess this. Grab your sword. Grab your Bible. I'm a soldier for Jesus. You know, what Pastor Pat was talking about. Or, um. Miss D was talking about Jesus being our hero. Yes, he yes. is. And you know what? Next month is Memorial Day. We celebrate Memorial Day mm -hmm. uh, in May. And uh, Jesus being our greatest warrior, our greatest yes. hero, you know. Amen. He sacrificed for us, you know. Yes, you know, well, I've never been a soldier. I've never been served. Yes, well, now you're in God's army. Yes. Amen. And Jesus is our general. He's our leader. Amen. Amen. And uh, he served his time, and he's still serving time. And there's no greater hero than him. Amen. Amen. So grab your swords. Yes. And say it like you need it. This is my Bible. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today I'll be talking the word of God. I love it. Confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. I'll never be the same. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Growing, growing, growing. Thank you, Lord. And we're maturing in the things of God, you know? Yes. <laughs> well, uh, we'll just we'll just pray. Did you get your little uh, yes. your yes. little handout? Amen. <laughs> this is great, huh? Yes. This is what we do here. All of you that are watching, and also you that are listening, <laughs> we have a little handout I gave the church, and it goes like this. Preach the truth, whether it fills the room or empties the room. Oh, Amen. Oh. And I have a little scripture underneath it that says 2 Timothy 4, 2. Uh -huh. King James says, preach the word. Be instant in season, out of season, rebuke, or reprove, rebuke, exhort with yeah. all long sufferings and Amen. doctrines. Amen. Amen. So we preach the word of God here. We're not here to uh, just uh, build our church. We're here to build the body of Christ. Amen. Amen. The church is the body of Christ. Amen. So praise God. I'm not here to make myself big. I'm here to let you know my God is big. Yes. Amen. Amen. I'm not here to magnify the problem of the world. I'm here to magnify my God. Amen. Amen. My God is, is sufficient. My God is big. Yes. So praise God. Amen. Amen. So prepare yourselves, church. We're going to talk about wait upon the Lord. See yourself the way he sees you. Amen. Yes. Amen. See yourself as soaring. Here we go. 
This is our text, Isaiah 40 and 31. If you don't have it, write it down or open your Bibles to it. But Amen. they that wait upon the Lord, what? Yes. Shall renew their, their strength. strength. They shall mount up with wings Jesus. as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Amen. 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 You cannot do this on your own, church, if you don't know that by now. <laughs> Ask the prodigal son. <laughs> Ask all our Bible heroes. How many of you know God wants to use you? If you ever look at all the Bible heroes that are mentioned in Hebrews, none of them was perfect. Mm -hmm. But God still used them. Yeah. He used them, and He's still using us. He wants to use you. Amen. He wants to use you. So none of us are perfect. Only Jesus was perfect. Only Jesus is perfect. But He wants to use us anyway. So see yourself the way He sees you. Amen. He puts you here. He's got a mission for you. And still, we need His help. You cannot do it on your own. Just wait on Him <laughs> to make you strong. Amen. Yes. Go to the next slide. Ah, this is great. We'll get to it in a second here. He will give you the ability to rise above your situation and soar. When you soar, you will do it with ease. You will have a winning attitude. You will have peace of mind and you will have peace in your spirit. Amen. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Let me read this to you. When a storm is coming, all of the birds seek shelter. The eagle alone avoids the storm by flying above it. So in the storms of life, may your heart soar like an eagle. Amen. We are to soar above the situation, above the problem, and not just be taken down. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Speaking of attitudes, <laughs> one of the stories, I have a couple of stories for you here today. Mm -hmm. But the little boy was fishing and catching nothing. Ever been there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> been there many times. <laughs> but I was enjoying it. man came by and asked him, are you fishing? The little boy replied, says, no, I'm not fishing. I'm drowning in worms. <laughs> <laughs> That was not a real good, good attitude, amen? <laughs> that was not a good attitude, praise God. You know what? If this ain't biting, I'm spending time with the Lord. And I'm going to have a good time, amen? But anyway, our attitude is a whole key right here, amen? Winning attitude or losing attitude, positive or negative, you got to, are you going to soar or are you going to scratch? <laughs> it's your choice, amen? We've been talking about this. Uh, watch your words and your actions. Amen. Uh, what kind of attitude am I going to have over this? It's you. You're going to make the right choice. Are you going to be negative or are you going to be positive? It's all up to you. Go to the next slide, please. Some of us are on weight training. I like this one. <laughs> we, we got to wait. We, we, so like, you can't go past go. You got to wait here. Yeah. Weight training. The ultimate strength conditioning, Isaiah 40, 31. That's our text. They wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Amen? Mm -hmm. And we got to wait. Yes. And you give it to Him, and you got to wait. Don't rush it. Just wait. <laughs> yes. And, of course, uh, we just talked about uh, having a positive attitude, mm -hmm. a winning attitude, and watching words and your actions. Of course, Proverbs 18, 21 says, Death and life are what? In the power of the tongue. And those that I love it shall eat its fruit. Mm -hmm. So we got to have the right attitude. We got to confess the right thing. Amen. We've talked about this many times, but words are carriers. Yes. And they carry life or death. They uh -huh. carry good or bad. And words are seeds that we sow. So in life, as you go, you're sowing seed. Is the seed good or bad? It's going to grow in your garden. You know, uh, Rusty's plants a garden just about every 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 year. But I know he wants to plant the right plants or the right vegetables that grow in his garden. We gotta sow the right things in our garden of life. Amen. Don't go around sowing the bad things because all these things are gonna grow. Good or bad is gonna grow. Then you gotta go back and weed it out. Amen. So be be careful. Sometimes we may feel the way <laughs> I haven't accomplished anything. Sometimes you feel like I'm just wasting time. Sometimes I feel like uh, I'm just spinning my wheels. Especially when you get around people that are not helping you. They're pulling you down instead of helping you. Oh, 
We don't hang around the wrong crowd. Mm. I told you this, I think it was last week or the week before. You hang around skunks. And you don't smell that. As a matter of fact, we, we smell one on the way here. <laughs> uh, go to the next one. The next slide. Fly like an eagle. And of course, our text. Go to the next one. God will lift you up. How many of you need to lift up? <laughs> Can't get no higher than Him. Amen. Amen. If you want to high, get high on Him. Yes. <laughs> This is the kind of lift that we all need on a daily basis. But when you're down, just get with him. Spend time with him. He will lift you up. Go to the next. Find the courage today to soar as high as an eagle or spend time, spend your life mm -hmm. scratching around like in the dirt like a little chicken. You decide. Mm -hmm. and we're going to get to that here in a minute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Those that wait upon the Lord let me read this to you. Those who wait upon the Lord, waiting implies to the expected attitude of faith. Amen? Relying upon Him for strength to bear the burdens and for deliverance from them in due time. His timing. Remember, it's His timing. They shall renew their strength, grow strong and stronger in faith and patience and fortitude, whereby they shall be more than conquerors over the enemies, over the adversaries, and over every situation. Amen. And I want to read you this uh, story about the eagle and the chicken. Mm. A story about being who you are or who you are meant to be. It's an old story about a chicken farmer who found an eagle egg. <laughs> And he put it in the chicken coop with the chickens to be hatched. The young eagle grew up with all the other chickens. Whatever they did, the eagle did. He thought he was a chicken, just like them. Since the chickens couldn't fly but only a short distance, guess what? The eagle just learned to fly a short distance. He thought that he was, that's all he's supposed to do. So that's all he did. <laughs> That's all he was able to do. One day the eagle saw a bird flying high above him. He was very impressed. So he asked the hens around him, What is that bird up there? The eagle says, That's the king of the birds, the hens uh, told him. He belongs in the sky. We belong in the earth. We're chickens. So the eagle lived and died as a chicken. For that, that's all he knew. Be encouraged today that you are an eagle. Yes. You may have been brought up in a situation that limits you with your understanding and your potentials, but it's time to know for now that you are loose from your past that mm. holds you down. Don't die thinking you're a chicken. Mm. Soar high mm. just as you were meant to be. God has great plans for you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. Be all that God has called you to be. Amen. Amen. You know, He's gifted you. He's called you. He's put you here on a mission mm -hmm. to succeed, to be a champion, to be a winner. And we go around confessing the wrong things and we end up like a chicken <laughs> in a chicken coop. Mm -hmm. Tied down, bound down by what the world limits us to be. Mm -hmm. By what people tell us we are or we're not. And we never reach the potential we're supposed to reach. And one day we're going to get before him and he'll say, why aren't you the eagle I meant you to be? Why didn't you use the gifts I called you to get and do? Because we was hanging around the wrong things, the wrong people, the wrong crowd, and not listening to what God wanted us to do. You, all of you are eagles. All of you have the potential to soar high. Amen. No matter what the problem, you can fly high over these situations. Amen. Praise God. Renewing our strength requires that we wait upon the Lord even in the middle of great trials. If we wait on the Lord, we will reap, we will gain, we will earn, we will acquire, we will win, and we obtain. Amen? Woo, hallelujah. Praise God. In these times that we need the Lord more than ever, easy to live for God 
and trust Him when all is going well. Not so easy when things are going bad mm -hmm. and the world is upon your shoulders. Many Christians bail out on God as the storms of life get tough. Mm -hmm. And they're getting tougher and they're going to get tougher. Amen. Amen. If we go about the Lord's way and spend time with Him, have a relationship with Him, that's what Christianity is all about, having a relationship with Him, spending time with Him, and just say, Lord, I can do this on my own. You know, that's what Christianity is, knowing that you can't do it on your own, <laughs> and saying, Lord, I need you. Yes. I need you. I need your strength. Amen. You know, I need you to press on. I need you to continue this. I need your strength. <laughs> if you live, if your life is in the middle of turmoil, disorder, <laughs> confusion, cares, anxieties, and worries. <laughs> Guess what? He says, well, cast them on him. Mm -hmm. We got to be obedient and do these things yeah. because these things are going to weigh you down. It's going to stop you mm -hmm. from doing what God has called you to do. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. So we need to cast it on him. It's all about your relationship with him. With him, you succeed. Without him, you won't succeed. You fight. If you don't know this by now, you fight a spiritual battle on a daily basis. Physically, you cannot defeat a spiritual battle. That's right. You need to be in the Spirit. You need the Lord to be with you. Amen. And you need the Word of God, confess the Word of God over these situations. Amen. He's given us spiritual weapons that we need to use on a daily basis. Otherwise, you won't succeed and you'll lose this spiritual battle. Amen. We, <laughs> we've said this many times. Part-time Christian is no match for a full-time devil. That's, it. That's one thing about the devil. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's consistent. Yeah. Amen. And there's his ranks. There's no disorder. And mm -hmm. there's unity. Mm -hmm. And the Bible's well, <laughs> we was told this and I've heard this and you've heard it as well. As you mature in the things of God, new levels, new devils. That's it. That's right. Ah! Amen. And they've got so some sure. solid ranks. Mm -hmm. And they're in unity and they don't fight each other. Mm -hmm. As Christians, we fight each other mm -hmm. and we compete more with each other. Mm -hmm. The enemy says, we already got you. Mm -hmm. We need to be in unity as we Amen. go about doing the Lord's work. Amen. Yes. Praise God. Yes, First Peter 5, 7 says, Casting all your cares upon him. Why? Because he cares for you. God is never too tired, too busy to listen, to help those who trust and faithfully come to him. <laughs> I guarantee you, when Noah went to build the ark, he says, what is an ark? Mm. He said, well, it's for, used for the flood. I said, what's the flood? Mm -hmm. when, when Moses got in front of uh, the Red Sea, and he got a Red Sea in front of him, impossible to cross. Mm. And he's got an Egyptian army right behind him. <laughs> Lord, I need you. We need you. We need you, Lord, on a daily basis because Amen. those giants are out there waiting on you. Yes. Daniel knew his God. He got thrown in the lion's den. I'm guaranteeing you those lions are hungry. Yeah. <laughs> oh. But God, Daniel sees God and God shuts their mouth, their jaws. Amen. Or whatever he, he's done to them. But they were in there with Daniel and they spent the night all together. Mm-hmm. Without harming him. That's right. Amen. And whatever's attacking you, God can shut it down. Yes. Or change it. Or whatever yeah. he needs to do for that situation. And yeah. our situations are different. Yeah. But God knows. Yes. And God can take care of it. Amen. Praise God. <laughs> the Hebrew children. They got thrown in the fire. <laughs> you guys know all these stories. But they got thrown in the fire. It was so hot. The people that the, the soldiers that threw them in there. Were burned, died. But they threw three, three Hebrew children in there. And all of a sudden, they see four. God is with you. Amen. Wherever you go, he says he never leaves you nor forsakes you. That's right. Hallelujah. One more, Paul and Silas. Mm -hmm. You know, if you think you got uh, excuses to be upset. <laughs> <laughs> Paul and Silas mm -hmm. preaching the word of God. Mm -hmm. I'm preaching the word of God. And all of a sudden, I'm getting beat for it. <laughs> And then I'm getting thrown in prison, mm -hmm. way in a dungeon. Oh, boy. And in a midnight hour, mm -hmm. when I should be asleep or complaining, mm. arguing to God, why is this happening to me? They're singing praises to God. Mm -hmm. you, know, you know, we have to remember to, to, to magnify, magnify our God more than our problems. Mm -hmm. Our God is bigger 
than our problems. Amen. But sometimes we see our problems bigger than our God. Amen. We, we, we have to get this right. Amen. Paul and Silas knew this. He says, you know, we enjoy doing this for you, Lord. Mm. They started singing praises unto him, mm. and they were not quiet. They were not real, real soft. They were loud because all... The, I don't know how big that jail was, but everybody heard it. And God heard it. Mm -hmm. And he responded. <laughs> and he showed up. And he showed up. There was a big earthquake. And every, every cell opened. Every uh, chain fell off the limb, you know. So praise God. He's there for you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let his strength become your strength. Be strong in him. Let his ways become your ways. Amen. Amen. On a daily basis. Lord, I seek you first. Seek you first the kingdom of God. Matthew 6, 33. All these things shall be added unto you. Amen. So we need to seek him on a daily basis. Hallelujah. Praise God. Wait on the Lord. Thanks. Patience. Bible teaches we should be patient with one another. The world, including the church, have become impatient. Can I hear an amen? Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Believers must learn to wait upon the Lord. Those that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. His timing, His ways are different. Mm -hmm. Amen. So praise God. Oh, praise God, praise God. We also live in a fast. I've already talked to you about this, but we live in a fast and instant world. Mm -hmm. A fast service, fast food, fast cars, fast lanes. Fast relationships. Fast relationships. <laughs> fast information. <laughs> Ooh. Jesus. Facebook. <laughs> Internet, computers, cell phones, <laughs> smartphones. Oh gosh. Fast credit. Yeah, no. Buy it now, pay later. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know. Help me Lord. <laughs> so when we go to God, we want it now. Yeah, we don't need it. We don't want to wait. You know, hey, you gotta get rich, you know. Everything's fast here. Yeah. You're kind of slow. <laughs> but he knows what's best for us. Yes. He knows what's best for us. <laughs> so we need to we need to know this. It's his timing mm -hmm. and his ways. Mm -hmm. Amen. So praise God. Oh, so today we're gonna learn how to live life. Mm. And live life to the fullest by mm. soaring with him, running with him, and walking. Amen. Amen. Over all our troubles, all our cares, yes. all our distractions, Thank all our Lord. temptations, trials, and overcoming this negative world. Mm. Go to the next. Oh, here you go. You get choice. Which one would you rather be? Mm. The king of birds mm. or the chicken scratching mm -hmm. on the ground? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the prodigal son found out real quick. Say, I'd rather be the eagle mm. than be the chicken. Because he was scratching mm -hmm. on the ground, but he was eating with the pigs. Amen. Mm -hmm. Go to the next one. Here we go. we got to make a choice. The time to decide, chicken or eagle, choice is yours. Mm -hmm. It's very simple. Mm -hmm. You know, just like you have to confess with your mouth. Mm -hmm. It's your decision. Keep yes. One more. Amen. That's where I want to be right there. Thank you, Lord. John 16, 33. Mm -hmm. Says, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, mm -hmm. tribulations, but take heart. Mm -hmm. I have overcome the world. Yes. Amen. Amen. I have overcome the world. King James says it like this. But they that, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. No, 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 no. Yep. Wrong one. <laughs> John 16, 33. Mm -hmm. These things I have spoken unto you. That in me, you may have peace. In this world, you will have tribulations, mm -hmm. misfortunes, trials, sufferings, troubles. Be of good cheer. I have overcome. Mm -hmm. I have defeated Amen. the world. Amen. Amen. That's why we go to him. Mm -hmm. Amen. You think you got it bad. He went through some of the things he went through. And we go to him because he's already defeated the world. He's already been there. Wherever he's asked you to go, he's already been there. Yeah. He's already there. Yeah. So wherever you go, he's there. And he's with you. Hallelujah. Amen. So praise God. Overcoming cares, problems, troubles, setbacks, failures, lacks, anything that makes you fall. Anything that wants to stop you. And you know what? The enemy 
wants to stop you and you use anything or anyone to stop you. Yes. So don't allow yourself to be stopped. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's why we need him on a daily basis. Seek him daily. Mm -hmm. Amen. <clears throat> we can soar and overcome the world and Satan with him. Amen. First John 4, 4 says, You are of God, little children, and have overcome them because he who is in you is greater than he that is in the world. That's right. It's yeah. not good when Satan's people are imprisoned to sin and bondage, bad habits overtaken by the way of the world. Other things like little foxes says that little foxes is for mine. To stop us from being free and victorious to do what God has called us to do. We can do, the Bible says, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Yes. Amen. And we have to believe this. And But we have to stay in tune. We have to stay in relationship with, with Him. And we got to stay strong in Him. Church, you got to stay hungry for the things of God. Yes. Amen. On a daily basis. You have to feed your spirit, man, the Word of God. You have to renew your mind mm -hmm. with the Word of God. Yes. And you have to crucify the flesh. Yes. Mm -hmm. But you got to stay hungry for it. Amen. Amen. If, if you let yourself down, if you let yourself down, if you let your guard down, the enemy will come in. How? By the words you speak. Because when God, when, when you stop confessing the Word, you start confessing the world. And when you start confessing the world, the enemy comes in. Mm -hmm. You open gates, you open doors, mm. and he comes in. Yeah. Amen. <clears throat> church, let go of whatever makes you stop. Huh. Amen. You can put your name there. Just take church off and say, Jose, let go of whatever makes you stop. Mm. What's making you stop? Mm. Whatever it is, our situations are different. Whatever is making you stop, you know about. Let it go. Let go and let God. With Him, all things are possible. Without Him, all things are impossible. Amen. Amen. Praise God. <laughs> Waiting on the Lord requires faith, requires patience, mm -hmm. energy, and effort. Waiting on the Lord has hopeful results. One thing some yes. of us are not good at is waiting. <laughs> oh, boy. Or have <laughs> having patience. We start pacing, pacing the floor. Uh-huh. Anybody know somebody like that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> or maybe yourself? <laughs> we easily get impatient. We must watch our words and our actions. We talked about this. You're the closest thing, or you may be the only Bible some people will ever read. But they're watching you. And your words and your actions say a whole lot about you. Amen? So we have to be careful. Actions. Quit following the world. Renew your mind. Guard your words. Mm -hmm. Words start shooting out. You know, just because they pop in your head and your mind doesn't mean you got to pop out of your mouth. Mm -hmm. You got to put a guard there. Mm -hmm. Stop. Or don't say it. Don't speak it. Is it good? Is it bad? Is it going to bless me? Mm. Or is it going to curse me? Mm. You decide. Yeah. Because either way, the word is a seed that's going to accomplish whatever you release it to do. And you released it. And you gave it power. So, be careful. Check it out before you speak it out. Amen? Amen. That's the first time. Check it out before you speak it out. <laughs> the words you, you speak are carriers. They have the power in the life of death. They have, they have power of life and death, positive or negative. You can reap what you sow. Remember, the hardest thing to tame is the tongue. Hmm. The Bible tells us. So just because you have it don't mean <laughs> it's got to be going all the time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you got to know when to add it. <laughs> Slow down. <laughs> don't say it. <laughs> Zip the lip. <laughs> <laughs> James 3 and 8 says this, But no one has ever been able to tame the tongue. Mm. It is evil and yeah. uncomfortable, mm. full of deadly poison. Mm -hmm. well, I, want my, I don't want mine to be deadly. I want mine to be good because I want to speak the word. I want to speak what the word of God says. You know, instead of cursing somebody, won't you bless somebody? Mm. Tell them something nice. Yeah. You know, say nice things. Don't say bad things. How do you give no place to the devil? If you do, he wants to rule you, he wants to drive you, he wants to guide you. 
He wants to devour you. Mm -hmm. He wants to detour you from whatever God's called you to do. Yeah. Remember, his mission is steal, kill, and destroy. Yeah. John 10, 10 says That's right. that he's come. To the devil just comes destroy. to steal, to kill, mm -hmm. or to destroy. So if those things are happening, stop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you stop it. Amen. Change. Yeah. Change is good. <laughs> but Jesus says, I've come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Amen. That's what yeah. he wants us to have. A life a full of abundance. Mm -hmm. Church, we must get renewed. Mm. Psalm 51 and 10 says, Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Amen. To renew me implies to restore mm -hmm. of what has become faded or collapsed. Yes. And now it's new. <laughs> yeah. Something new, like a new beginning. Mm -hmm. A new right. beginning. Amen? A new Amen. start. A brand new life change. St. Corinthians 5, 17 says that you're a new creature in Christ. Amen? You're a new person. You had a spiritual birth yes. when you received Jesus. Thank you. But people still see the same you. But inside you, I'm a new person. And people still want to hold things against you because they see you. Mm -hmm. But they don't see the spiritual birth you had. That's right. Amen? God sees God has x-ray vision. <laughs> People in the world don't. God sees the inside of you. Yeah. Amen. And you can see yeah. the outside. But he sees a new person. Now you're a new person. So don't quit calling yourself what you used to call yourself. Quit doing what you used to do. And now you're doing what God's called you to do. And yeah. on a mission, work him. And you can do all things. You can accomplish whatever mission he puts you on. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. I want to be a new person. And a new changed person in him. So praise God. Let me see. Change the slide. Oh, I just want some beautiful pictures for you. Somebody mentioned a few minutes ago, I love eagles. Mm -hmm. I've got eagles all over the place. Mm -hmm. Go to the next one. Oh, beautiful. Go ahead. There you go. Oh. <laughs> this, is a, this is a funny for, for all of us. <laughs> I wanted you all to see this. Of course, we don't do this in this church. Because we don't have no bitches in the <laughs> But most churches, this is what happens. Everybody likes the back. Only Patricia and, uh, and uh, Vicky like the front seat. But there's room for you in the front. That's what he's saying. There's plenty of seats further up front. <laughs> come on up. Say, you want to be closer to God? Well, come on up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, praise oh, God. God. <laughs> praise God. <laughs> amen, amen, amen. <laughs> Waiting on God is not just sitting and doing nothing. Waiting upon God requires us to be in touch and tune with Him, have a relationship. <laughs> Turning to Him in every care, concern, and decision. Turning to Him with every care, concern, and decision. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Trusting him to hear our request. Mm -hmm. Taking steps as he directs us one day at a time. Taking the outcome over to him. Making yourself available to him. This the thing right there is, are you making yourself available to him? Mm -hmm. He's not looking for abilities. He's looking for availabilities. Are you available for him? Yeah. When he comes to knocking, he says he knocks at the door. Mm -hmm. And he wants to come in. And he wants to have a relationship with you. But are we letting him in? Mm. Huh? We, need to, we need to spend time with him. Because mm -hmm. he wants to come spend time with us. Yeah. <laughs> we sing this song quite often. It goes something like this. He's a God on the mountain. Mm. He's a God in the valley. When things go wrong, he'll make it right. Mm -hmm. He's a God of the good times. He's a God of the bad times. He's a God of the day. And he's a God of the nights. Mm -hmm. That's the God we serve. Amen. <laughs> he never leaves you nor forsakes you. We need to remember that. We walk away. He never walks away. He's always with you. Right. Amen. So, <laughs> praise God. Praise God. Praise God. As Christians, God wants us to rely on Him. Mm -hmm. Whatever we, whatever we're doing. And as we look to Him, He will give us the strength to continue. Mm -hmm. And we are, when we're tempted to give in, there's times when we want to throw in the towel or quit, yet when we look to God, He will give us 
a renewed strength that we need. Amen? Amen. Praise God. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to spray you another story. <laughs> As we continue our relationship with God, we want to stay hungry for more of Him yes. and His Word. Amen. Mm -hmm. Says the truth will set us free. Yeah. We can soar and fly. We could we could fly and soar high with Him and fulfill all God has called us to do. Mm -hmm. If you don't think that, you need to get born again. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because if you don't feel like God has called you or God is not using you, then you need to have a relationship. Because as you have a relationship, you find out He wants you, He loves you. For God so loved the world. Mm -hmm. For God so loved the world, meaning people, meaning us. And the reason we're here is for because of Him. Amen. And He's called every one of us. That's right. And you're on a special mission for Him. Amen. And we serve Him. Jesus came to be to serve, not to be served. So we are to serve. And he says, if you want to be great in my kingdom, learn to serve. Be a servant of all. Amen. We serve all. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't be like the eagle in the chicken coop with his buddies. Be careful. If they're not building you up, if they're not helping you, then... <laughs> Let them go. Mm. God will bring you the right friends. Yes. God will bring you the right Amen. people. Those that are going to help you and guide you, mm -hmm. assist you on the way. This eagle has all the potentials, had all the potentials to be soaring up high, but still he got lost. Mm. He got placed in a place where he thought, this is all that I can do. No, it's not all you can do. When you find out you're God, when you find out who you are in Him, yes, then you're going to change and be who He's called you to be and yes. fulfill what He's called you to do. Amen. And He's called you to do great things, big or small. When you have the attitude of serving, no matter what, you're going to be great. And you know, one day when you get before Him, He's going to say, "Welcome home, good and faithful mm -hmm. servant." Amen. Welcome home. <laughs> Be like the eagle, the king of the birds, and soar high with God. Mm -hmm. Be all God called you to be. This is very, very important. We got to get this in us. We got to get this in us to know that we are great. We are this eagle, king of birds, that we can soar high with Him. When troubles come, guess what? The birds go find shelter. The eagle rises up. We need to rise up over the situations. Greater is He that is in us. And he just in the world. Yes. We can rise up. Says the, he says the enemy's under your feet. Yes. He, we, we, we fight a defeated foe. Hmm. So why are we going to hide ourselves? You know, we are higher than these problems. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. you remember the prodigal son? <laughs> he was lost but found. <laughs> he was blinded but now he sees. He took off but he came back because he says, you know, hey, I can go back to Father. Mm -hmm. And I can be all. I can do better at Father's house. And I can be all that he's called me to be. Amen. Mm -hmm. So we too can soar like an eagle. Upward. Above the worldliness. Mm -hmm. Above the worries. About the temptations. About the trials. Above the trials. <laughs> God wants you to be what he's made you to be. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. God wants you to be what he's called you to be. And you yes. are somebody Yes. Imitate him only. Be the original that he made you to be, not a copy. Yes. You know, when you don't have a relationship, you go around copying people or competing mm. against people. Mm. And if, you, if, you, if you're going to copy somebody, you're going to fall and do the wrong thing. Mm. And then you're going to see yourself as failing, mm. as a failure. But if you be the original that he's called you to be and get instruction from him, and spend time with Him, have a relationship with Him, and be all that He's called you to be. You can do all things through Him. Amen? And then you can be this original that He's called you to be. Don't copy the world. Don't copy men, friends, or anyone. God called you, equipped you, and qualified you, and approved you. 
if God has approved you, don't wait on the world mm -hmm. for the world approval or anyone else's approval. You're not trying to please the world. You're trying to please God. That's right. So mm -hmm. don't, don't worry about that. You know what? If you're trying to please people, you'll never live up to it. Because every time you match whatever they, they say, mm -hmm. they're going to raise the bar up oh, boy. even higher. Mm -hmm. And you'll never reach it. So that's, that's man-made. God says, you know, hey, I've already called to you. I've already approved to you. I know because I put you there. And I put everything in you to fulfill what I've called you to do. Yes. So remember this. Amen. You can do all things through him. You're a winner. You're a champion, not a loser. You are a victor and not a, a victim. Mm -hmm. And you are more than a conqueror. Yes. And you are an overcomer. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Did you get some? Yes. This is good. Amen. Oh, that was the last one? Yes. <laughs> we, we don't want to do this. <laughs> praise God. Praise God. Praise God. This, this is uh, all I have for you right now. So praise God. Thank Amen. you, Lord. And Father, we just thank you for the opportunity to share your word, Father God. We thank you. We apply your word to our lives, Father God. We want to be what you called us to be, Father God. Thank you that we can do all things through you. All things. Us, Father. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Huh? I'm still on. Okay. <laughs> Those of you that are watching video or audio, if you never accepted Christ, it's time for you to accept Him. All you have to do is say, Lord Jesus, I say it against you. I repent. I ask you to come, be my Lord and Savior. Amen. So praise God. If you've done that, if you've confessed Him, He is your Savior. He's your Lord. He's your Savior. And all you have to do is go hook up with a Bible-based church where you can learn the Word of God and continue to grow in Him. Amen. But know that you are born again. Amen. You're saved and born again. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. If you heard Him, just put your hand wherever you're ailing right now. And Father, he says, lay hands on the sick and they shall be covered. Mm -hmm. So by Jesus' stripes, you are healed right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Mm -hmm. So praise God. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Thank you.